he is one of the all-time most dominant collegiate players. As proven by his remarkable points, rebounds, and blocks per game, the seven-footer was a beast in the post and could outmuscle any opponent. Stay put as we unfold to you 10 things you didn't know about Sharif O'Neal. Number 10, he possessed the team's highest GPA. Shaq saw early success in college, similar to the majority of NBA players, playing for the first three seasons with the Louisiana State Tigers. It gave his career a great start, made him the first choice in the 1992 NBA draft, and eventually led to his entry into the LSU Hall of Fame. On the site, there is also a bronze monument of O'Neal outside the basketball practice court. Shaq also did exceptionally well in the classroom, as shown by the fact that in his freshman year, he had the team's highest grade point average. Although it is not something that one would often identify with O'Neal, who seems more like a class clown than a bookworm, it shows the intellect and commitment that allowed him to complete at the highest level for such a long time. Number 9. He was teammates with Bulbul Bul from the AAU. The 2018 class of basketball needed a verbal commitment from Arizona in order to participate in a Nike EYBL tournament. Sharif O'Neal and AAU teammate Bulbul Bul flew across the nation with their club team, Cal Supreme, from Los Angeles to Atlanta. The pair were blazing hot. You can actually sense the chemistry between them on the court as they play extremely well together. The son of another NBA big man, Bulbul Bul and Sharif are good friends. The son of Manute Bull, a 20-year-old native of Sudan, played collegiate basketball at Oregon before getting selected by the Denver Nuggets. Bull towering over the 6'9 Sharif O'Neal at 7'2". They were on the same AAU team, Cal Supreme, and Sharif frequently posts pictures of them together on Instagram. Number 8. He and Kobe Bryant were close. At the end of the day, Shaq and Kobe were teammates who shared several championships and made up what is perhaps the greatest one-two punch in NBA history. Thus, the alleged friction between them was never as serious as thought. While Shaq and Bryant had conflicts with the Lakers, Sharif wasn't affected by them. Sharif and Bryant became close. O'Neal's son Sharif, a UCL basketball player, disclosed on Twitter that Bryant made contact with him the morning of his death before boarding the aircraft that would ultimately claim the lives of seven other people in addition to his daughter Gianna, 13, and Bryant. Sharif posted a screenshot of his direct chats with Bryant on Twitter along with the statement, Literally this morning you reached out to me. I will always adore you, Unc. I cherish you. Since then, Sharif has a tattoo in memory of Kobe and his daughter Gianna. Number 7. Received first offer of a scholarship from USC. Sharif was recruited by many institutions while playing at Crossroads School. Even though he only averaged 3.7 points and 2.9 rebounds per game as a freshman at Windward School, he earned scholarship offers from Baylor, LSU, UCLA, and USC. He received a scholarship from USC initially, but he didn't decide on a school for another two years. Number 6. He just made one three-pointer throughout his career. Shaq wouldn't be seen as a danger from beyond the arc, but it's shocking that he only attempted one tray his entire 19-year NBA career. Early in his career, when the shot clock was running down during a game in the 1995-96 regular season, he scored his lone long-range goal. O'Neal's three-point statistics showed him making only one out of 22 attempts for a less than stellar 4.5% success percentage. Thankfully, Shaq wasn't signed for his shooting range, and each of those 22 shots was likely greeted with terror by coaches and teammates the moment he pretended to shoot the ball. Although it would be difficult, if not impossible, for Sharif O'Neal to exceed his father, he hopes to at least make a similar influence at the collegiate and NBA levels. The 20-year-old has already overcome numerous challenges and now finally appears positioned to become the player many anticipate he can be. But the early signals aren't as encouraging considering that he only averaged 2.2 points and 2.9 rebounds per game in 13 games at UCLA this season. Number 5. Prior to basketball, he was into skateboarding. Sharif has been honest about the fact that while basketball is his passion, it wasn't always his first love. Sharif spent much of his free time skating in his early years instead of being interested in basketball. He spoke about how his family never forced him into anything and let him follow his inclinations in an interview he did in 2019. For a while, skateboarding was that. He made the decision to do so after a really underwhelming performance at an amateur athletic union match. At age 13, he began a weekly regimen of training. Sharif entered Windward School after beginning high school. At Windward School, his first year was a fruitful learning experience. Despite receiving little playing time, he nonetheless obtained the necessary experience for future advancement. Number 4. He has a Platinum Recording Artist Certification Shaq has made no secret of his love for hip-hop music, 
and before winning an NBA title, he published four albums, all of which were surprisingly successful thanks to the numerous guests that appeared on each one. Since its release in 1993, Shaq Diesel has sold one million copies, earning him U.S. Platinum certification. Although Shaq Fu, The Return, the sophomore album didn't do as well, it still had over 500,000 sales. A less successful musical endeavor concerned his turbulent connection with former teammate Kobe Bryant and was released in 2008. Shaq consulted Bryant in a crude freestyle while on the mic at a New York nightclub, reigniting their previously quiet feud. Number three, he appeared on Curb Your Enthusiasm as himself. Curb Shaq has a well-established acting career and has been in a number of movies throughout the years, most notably starring in Kazam as a magical genie. His television career is a little less well-known because it mostly consists of modest guest appearances, frequently in which he plays himself. In an episode of the 2001 comedy series Curb Your Enthusiasm, Larry David, the show's creator and star, injures Shaquille O'Neal unintentionally while watching a Lakers game. This may be Shaq's most underappreciated cameo. The funny scenario that follows features the Staples Center audience turning on an increasingly agitated David and booing him out of the venue. Number two, he was criticized, but he never relented. Sharif O'Neal received criticism from former player Robert Horry after representing the Los Angeles Lakers in the Summer League this past season. Horry questioned if the young O'Neal has what it takes to compete in the NBA. Even though he and Shaquille O'Neal were teammates on the Lakers from 1997 to 2003, Horry was candid in his evaluation of Sharif's play. I picked up my phone and I was getting ready to call Shaq like, Yo, man, you gotta tell your son he can't be playing off the damn O'Neal name, Horry said on his Big Shot Bob podcast. He gotta go out there and play. You gotta put forth some more effort, man. You know, Sharif's such a nice kid that I don't know if he has that dog in him to go out there and take what he wants. Sharif responded to the critique on Twitter, stating how determined he was to make it in the NBA. I know this out of love and no disrespect. I got you a big shot, but you know who raised me? I don't quit, Sharif tweeted. Always been taught to get it and take it. Been heading in the right step. Like I said, I got you. You'll see. Number one, he paid for the funeral of an NBA legend. Given his flamboyant demeanor and adoration for the spotlight, one would be excused for thinking Shaq is a somewhat egocentric guy. He is a well-known public personality who is also incredibly philanthropic, supporting organizations like Free the Children, the Boys and Girls Club of America, and the Kids Wish Network. His decision to fully cover the funeral of NBA Hall of Famer George Meekin was possibly his most heartfelt act. O'Neal credited the former Lakers center as a major influence, asserting that Shaq wouldn't exist without Meekin. There may be more to what Sharif O'Neal has been doing in the NBA than these, but let's end it here. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment box.